Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. The never ending testing season continues. Um, we just keep getting good product through the door. What else am I supposed I to say? I know, it's hard not to build it up and test it. Why wouldn't you? Tinker with it. So, as you guys saw in my What's in the Bag a few weeks ago, uh, the shafts I use in the woods, the, the top end of the bag, predominantly Mitsubishi, Tensei, uh, Pro White, Pro Orange were mm -hmm. both in the mix. Last week, uh, Mitsubishi extended that line with the new uh, Tensei 1K Blue, yep. Pro Blue. Um, a shaft that was really popular um, on the European tour specifically, actually, in the, the AV version of it right, previously. Okay. Uh, obviously with the 1K really super premium high modulus materials that they've been using in the 1K orange and the 1K pro white, uh, extending that into a slightly softer tip and midsection, but very firm handle section in the blue. Mikey, quite an interesting shaft, um, profile wise, designed to launch and spin a fraction higher, uh, but yield actually a higher ball speed. Yeah. Not often you hear that from, uh, from manufacturers claiming that there's a, a ball speed story uh, when it comes to shaft design, but generally you do hear it from shafts with a much stiffer butt section. When the activity happens around about the tip section, we tend to get more acceleration of the, the club head itself, which ultimately is what leads to the higher ball speed. So something I'm interested today to see if we get that. Um, I've went back to Stealth 2 mm. Plus. Yeah. Um, seen some really, really good numbers from that, but I'll never turn my nose up at a, a little bit of ball speed, Michael. No, no, and you're playing all 50 X's yeah. in this product here, the white, the orange, and the blue. This will be this will be a good test. Yeah, and it's important to note, guys, when we talk about 50 X or 60 S, which is what you're playing, some these don't always have to conform to being a 50 gram shaft. Yeah. So um, pro white in 50 X is 59 grams. Yeah, yeah. Uh, pro orange in 50 X is 58 grams. Pro blue in 50X is 55 grams. Yeah, Very yeah. different. Yeah. Different torque ratings, uh, all kind of above four degrees, a little bit on the higher side, that's why they feel great. Um, balance point, obviously highest in the orange. Uh, I actually found the, the blue to be quite counterbalanced yeah, yeah, as well yeah. because of the stiff butt section. Higher than white for sure. Definitely higher than white. Um, so I did see my swing weight come down a little bit on that, which I actually quite like. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, I'll be, I'll be interested to see what we get out this today. Um, one other thing to note for, for people who are very sensitive to grip size, one of the ways manufacturers get the, the butt section or any section of the shaft is to play with the taper rate. This is a slower taper rate on the blue, which basically means the, the butt section is a little bit larger. Uh, I wanna say 0.634 yeah. is, is what the, the 50X is. Equivalent of about two wraps of tape extra. Yeah. So if you That's use two wraps of tape and you've got that, you're using four. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a big difference. That's a big butt. <laughs> Just up your street. Yeah. Just up your street. All right, I built up the, uh, the some three woods and some drivers. We're just going to focus on the driver testing today. We'll maybe do the fairway wood testing at another time. Um, but looking forward to trying these, expecting some good stuff. Okay, for us, gamer. Yeah. Stealth Two Plus, Tensi Fifty uh, X. Yep. What's the setting you have that in? Uh, open. We open one and a half. Okay. So loft down 0.75. 45 inches. 45 and a half. Okay. So. Sounded good. Yeah, like a fairly normal one there. What was that for launch and spin? Launch 11, 9, 1900 spin. Okay, we've been the low side. Yeah. Interesting. Ball speed 56. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I throw it out there, maybe as an excuse. We are using a range ball today, tend yeah. to give away two or three miles an hour. Yeah. Hopefully change that speed. soon. Yeah. Okay, and feel similar? Yeah, 11 launch, 26 spin, little okay. spinny. A little spinny, maybe a lower. 96 peak height though, better. Okay. Quite comfortable with those numbers. Yeah. Quite like that flight. Quite straight? Pretty straight, yeah. A little low in the head. Yeah. Yeah, peak height's down again. Okay. So we're seeing that a little bit with orange. Yeah. Now, those are low strikes. We're going to see lower launch mm -hmm. out of low strikes. But that's where I'm interested to see if the blue kicks up a little bit yeah. more. Yeah. 
That was better. Launch down a bit, spins in a good window, 2200. I find this a very consistent driver. I didn't hit that very good. Yeah, yeah. Caught that probably a little bit low heel, what it mm -hmm. felt like. And like it's a great flight to it. Yeah, yeah. Really pleased with that. Twist face. Twist face, baby. A bit more of the high knuckly better. flight. Yeah. What was Ball that? speeds up one one sixty, one oh seven club, thirteen launch, twenty one spin. So what was it carry? Two eight two. 305 total, I mean. Pretty good. And 100 feet in the air. Okay, so those, let's keep those numbers as yeah. screenshot gamer numbers. Okay. Okay. Okay, for us, 10C white, again, 50X, 45 and a half. Yeah, same, same build. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we know blue's gonna be a higher launching shaft, ideally, we think. We think. Designed to be. Um, this is, white's a little higher than orange as well, but again, I've always found white to be stout, low, just low in general. Yeah. So I think it's different for everyone, but interesting to see what this does compared to orange. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, I mean, uh, different shafts in that, the, the orange with the tungsten powder in the butt section to raise the balance point. Yeah. So uh, generally does, you know, play a little bit on the stiffer side, uh, the, the orange. I like it, it still feels stable. It's one of the reasons I like the 50X with the higher torque. Yeah. It plays, plays good, but I also really like the whites. It's really tough for me to choose between yeah. these two. Yeah, let's see it. That's a nice flight. 14 launch, 1800 spin. What was that in there? 284 two. carry, 305 total. It's pretty good. And there's that 96 feet in the air. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't feel like I could swung very quick on that one. That's good. It's a nice flight. Again. A little squirty one, but. Yeah, I didn't quite kind of time up the speed on it, Mikey, but it's yeah. kind of got a, like a, it's got a high launch low spinner to it, yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah. That speed came down, launch was up, spin was a little high. What was that one? 25. Okay. 116 peak height though. Sounded better. Better, yeah. Yeah, there's the 157, 13 launch, 1800 spin. 280 odd again. 284 carry, yeah. Right out of the gate, so that peak height with white is higher for white. sure than orange. Wee bit toy. Not gonna hurt you. 13 no. launch, 21 spin, 280 carry. Okay, so a little bit better with white, yeah, interestingly. Yeah. Seemed like a bit more consistent. Okay, for us, 10C blue, 1K. Yep. Mm -hmm. 1K family's finally done. Yeah, I mean, instantly you can feel the reduction in weight. Mm. You really can feel yeah. that mass come down a little bit. Um, feels nice, feels, feels good. I hit a couple, it feels super smooth. It, that's that's like what I like about it. Smooth as a Napa cab. Yeah, yeah. You'd, a, you'd know about a few Napa cabs. Well done. Stuck behind that one a little bit, Mikey, but. Yeah, doesn't hurt you though. I mean, carries obviously down, but spins up as well. What was that one? 2509, 13 7 launch. 2500, okay. 270 Sorry. carry. Peak heights to the moon, though. Is it? Yeah. Was that 125? No, 107, but much higher than what we've had. Spinny, Mikey? Yeah, 29, 11.6. Wouldn't hurt you on the golf course. No. Sunday morning, first tee shot. Yeah. Definitely considerably, when you hit the three of them side by side, mm -hmm. like you can feel this one has more. More play in it. More play in yeah. it. Might be interesting to hit the TX actually in this guy. I can get you one. Do you know a guy? I know a guy. It's a nice flight again. Yeah, that, that was better for sure. Yeah, there you go. 158 ball, 12-9 launch, 22 spin, 104 in the air. Back to your 282 carry. That was perfect. Yeah, looked that very was, stable. Yeah, that was much better. How was that? Another one, 12-3 launch, 23 spin, 160 ball, 100 feet in the air. It's really it. good. Man, I think I just had to acclimatize a little bit to blue. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there it was is, a change. It is softer for sure. Definitely, definitely. But 
I, 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 it kicks a bit more. Yeah. That's why that's what I'm, yeah. I'm timing. So I think the stiffer handle, like they talked about, a little bit more play down here. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling it. That one came out a bit flatter. Did it? 12-1 launch, 2,000 spin, 87 feet in the air. So definitely Not your, low, I don't, I don't mind your lowest lower, one. A lower flight. Yeah, no, definitely your lowest one with this. Okay, well, let's have a look at the averages. All right, guys, <clears throat> so nice little session with uh, each of the 10 say, 1K Pro products. Mm -hmm. Started with the orange, went into the white, over to the blue. Um, yeah, quite interesting. So like we always say when we, we do these tests and, and we give you guys the recommendations of what the manufacturer says from a launch and spin perspective, and we always say take that with a grain of salt and, you know, the golfer swing can always override the intended characteristics of, of that club to produce a certain ball flight. And we actually saw a little bit of that, Mikey. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if we go into the ball speed, start with the orange at 156.5 yep. average ball. Yep. Went up a little bit with white, 157.4. Went up to 159 with the blue. Yeah. As the shaft got softer, club speed went up, ball speed went up. Very, very interesting. Um, one of the most interesting things from the test though was the highest launch angle came with the white. Yeah, interesting. Which is definitely, definitely interesting. So looking at the launch and spin, the bomber flight came with the white, 13.7 launch, 1900 spin. Orange was flat, yeah, right? Nine, yeah, 11, flat. nine, and, and 1900. Blue sat in kind of the perfect window. 12.4 launched just under 2200. Um, I really thought the spin axis was an interesting one. The straightest flight by far with the, with the, blue. the, the blue. I mean, watching you hit the blue, to me, I was like, go just, play it. Just it looks so, so comfortable. Average carry with them. We're looking at longest was white because of the high launch, low mm -hmm. spin. Even though his speed was down, 283.4. Yeah. Blue was 280.6, and then orange was down a little bit, 272.7. Uh, it does what they say it does. I mean, orange, lower launch, then you got your 10C, and then you've got this 10C blue that, that gets up in the up in the air for you. The flight for you on blue was was great. Was was the straightest by far. Very, very interesting. I mean, I was very, I was curious to try it just because I know blue is very similar in terms of profile to what I have played in the uh, Ventus TR Red. Yep. Stiffer handle, a little bit of softer tip section, a little bit more active. I, I think that blue is going to be a really good option for a lot of people. Uh, yeah. I'm going to test with it a little bit more in the in the driver, but I really do think there's going to be a little bit of life to this one. To follow up with the woods too, because you do have it in some three woods. I do, I do. I've got the same white and orange and blue kind of to try in the woods. So I uh, haven't really extensively done that testing yet, but uh, it looks like it, 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 you know, could be good to, to do that. Blue throughout the bag. Could be blue in the bag. It wouldn't be the wrong thing for this boy. Yeah, no kidding. Someone said uh, he likes the color blue. Uh, okay, guys, that is the Tensei range complete set. Obviously, those of you who are wondering, yeah, there is a 10C uh, 1K black. It is a different shaft from a, a material standpoint. It's, it's not part of the Pro Series. It's Correct. just called 1K black. More of an OEM made shaft, uh, obviously at a slightly lower price point. So, which is one of the reasons, you know, you won't see it in tests like this with us. Uh, it's not a shaft we carry, but we will carry white, orange and blue in our stores. So, uh, something to make sure you, you guys try out when you come by for your own test. Definitely. Great stuff. Okay, stay tuned for more. We'll see you again soon.